So it looks like we're in good shape. So 4e to the negative x squared times 4x to the 4 minus 12x squared plus 3. Okay, so finally, I know this is super tedious, but um, this is what we have to do. Finally, we have all of our derivatives. Now, uh, these two steps are much easier. This is by far the hardest column, especially if you've got um, a function that starts getting complicated. So, now we have these two columns. You can see that this is um, fk of a, and we have a here defined as zero, so this is actually fk of zero, which basically means uh, whatever you get when you plug zero into the function. So, uh, we will go ahead and plug zero into each one of these. Let's go ahead and do that now. Uh, this will be e to the zero, right? Anything raised to the zero power is one, so e to the zero would just be one. Now we plug in zero to the second one here. Um, we'll have negative two times zero e to the negative zero squared, right? So you can see that since we have zero here for this x, it's going to um, cancel everything out and make the whole thing zero. So second row here, we're looking at zero. Um, and now you can see pretty easily we're going to bring this 0 down into this x squared, which is going to get rid of this whole first term. And then we put 0 in here. We've got e to the 0, which is 1. Um, 1 times negative 2, so just negative 2. Then we plug 0 in here. Uh, we'll have 0 out in front here in this x, which is actually going to cancel everything out because we'll have 0 times 3, and we'll have 0 times zero again. So this is going to be zero. And then plugging in zero to the last one here, we'll have four, um, e to the zero was, e to the zero was one. So um, four times one, we'll just have four out in front. And then we'll have four times zero minus zero plus three. So looking like 12, because these two will cancel obviously, and we'll just be left with four times three. So, 12. Um, okay, so that's simple enough as you can see. We plug in 0 to each of these to get this answer. And then the final step here, obviously this is a again, so we can put 0 in its place because a is defined up here as 0. So you can see that this fk of 0 is the same as this fk of 0, and then k we have over here. So basically what this column is, is the third column divided by the first column, factorial, which is what that exclamation point is. If you're not familiar with factorial, uh, it's really simple. Basically, if you have um, four factorial, the uh, four factorial is equal to four times three times two times one. Uh, you go all the way down to one. So 12 factorial would be 12 times 11 times 10 times 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. That would be 12 factorial. So, and zero factorial is 1, always. So um, so let's go ahead and do that. So uh, this fk of 0, so we've got 1 divided by k. So 0 factorial is 1, so 1 over 1 equals 1. Then we have, we can do this, 0 divided by negative 2 divided by 0 divided by and 12 divided by. Uh, 1 factorial is 1. So we'll leave that. Uh, 2 factorial, 2 times 1 is 2. 3 factorial, 3 times 2 is 6, times 1 is 6. And then 4 factorial, 4 times 3 is 12, times 2 is 24, times 1 is 24. So, so now we compute this. So 0 over 1 is just 0. Negative 2 over 2 is negative 1, 0 over 6 is 0, and 12 over 24 is 1 half. So all of that work, basically, to get these five coefficients right here, which is the most important thing. So um, these, uh, these five here is pretty much all we care about. We no longer need... Um, we no longer need any of this 
center stuff here. We can get rid of all of this. We will kind of need to know these k's and those values. But now that we've made our chart and found these values and these ones, we can go ahead and write our Taylor polynomial. So Taylor polynomial is super easy to construct. Um, these are our coefficients. So we start with the first one. We do 1 times x, always, and then we subtract whatever a is. So 1 times x minus 0, because a is 0. And then we raise that to uh, the corresponding value of k. So in this case, 0. Then our second term would be 0, the coefficient, times x minus 0, because a is 0, raised to the 1 plus here negative 1 times x minus 0 raised to the 2 plus uh, 0 times x minus 0 raised to the 3 plus 1 half times x minus 0 raised to the 4. And that's our whole Taylor polynomial. All we have to do now is simplify. So realize here that each of these coefficients uh, 1, 0, negative 1, 0, and 1 half are the coefficients here. x doesn't change, that we always write the x. We always subtract from that whatever a is. In this case, 0, that's always the same. And then we just raise that uh, polynomial here to whatever, the, um, to whatever k is. So you can see 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, because we have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 there. So now what we need to do is... Simplify. So, looks like up here we'll have um, 1 times uh, x, and because we have minus 0, that's just going to go away. So we'll have x to the 0, plus um, this whole thing is going to go away because that's 0. We have a 0 multiplied out in front there. So then we've got um, negative 1 times x squared plus Again, zero out in front, so that goes away. So plus one half times uh, x to the four. So then let's go ahead and simplify one more time. And this eraser is getting really dirty. That'll be our final answer. Sorry, that was a two. Okay, so anything again raised to the zero power is just one. So x to the zero is one. So we have one out in front here. Uh, then this is plus a minus, we have minus x squared, and then this is plus one half x to the fourth. And that, finally, after all those steps and all that work, is our final answer. Thanks guys, I'll see you next time.